Hello boys and girls out there in YouTube land. In this video, I wanted to talk about uh, the features that have been rolled out in software update 36.2.1 for Tesla's, uh, the Model 3 in particular. Uh, and in particular, I wanted to concentrate my attention on one of the rollouts that I think is probably gonna be the most uh, useful for the average Tesla user and talk about how this feature technically brings the Tesla Model 3 up to par, if not advances it against another EV competitor who has had this feature for a while. Now in software update 36.2.1, the three main updates that came out have been the enhancement with uh, autopilot navigation, the enhancement in stopping mode, and a 5% performance boost. All of them being quite good. But the one that I thought was something that was lacking was stopping mode. Now in this new enhancement, uh, Tesla has given an update, an option of updating your ability to pretty much do one pedal driving. Now one pedal driving really was pioneered, believe it or not, by the second generation Lisa, Nissan Leaf and they had it in what they call e-pedal driving. And in that um, option for the Nissan LEAF, a driver was able to pretty much um, not use the brake pedal to bring the car to a complete stop. And prior to this update with um, the Tesla Model 3, the car did have some regen and the car would slow down, but it would not actually come to a complete stop. This new enhancement will actually make your lifespan of your brakes and your brake pads in particular uh, be longer because once you get used to it, you literally can um, manage to drive around town um, with little or no usage of hitting your brakes. And this has been a great uh, feature uh, when I tested it out with the Nissan LEAF. The other thing, however, though, that's actually very good about it is that in order for the car to be able to stop with regen braking, um, Tesla actually increased the regenerative braking power. And uh, an after effect of that is that it is more aggressive in terms of recapturing energy and putting it back into the battery. So in theory, this will extend the mileage that you can get out of a a charge from your car. Um, it is something that actually works very well with the Nissan LEAF if you're doing commuter driving. Obviously, regenerative braking in any EV it doesn't really work more when you're on the highway because you're not really doing stop and go, and so you don't really need to use regenerative braking. But if you're going around town and you're running errands and you're not necessarily getting on the highway, you can actually, there are many opportunities where you can actually recapture energy and recapture miles. So the second generation Nissan Leaf, when it was uh, released in 2018, had a rated range of 151 miles, but there have been um, many documented examples online where people have been claiming that they've been getting uh, a range much larger than that, with the caveat that they get a higher rate range if they're driving, you know, in the city as opposed to driving around in the highway. And indeed, um, I had access to a Nissan Leaf, and even though that uh, car had a rated range of 151 miles, it was not hard to get the range to bump up to 165, 170. Um, I've even, in a couple of experiences, have gotten it to go all the way up to 180. Again, this is not highway mileage, but if you're driving around town, it's very easy to get it to, to go way past its EPA rating. So it'll be interesting to see how much of that can be translated into the Model 3. So with this new enhancement to the, the Tesla Model 3, I think that that's probably something that the average person is going to be able to, to reap the benefits of, so to speak provided you're doing day-to-day -day commuting. Um, I mean, I guess the sec second place uh, enhancement that I think people can notice somewhat will be the performance boost, but it's only 5%. And most people don't 
on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, go from zero to 60 in 4.9 or 5.0 seconds. So that's why I rated the regen, the stopping mode to be the number one feature. Anyway, that's it. If uh, you like this video, please like, please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to put some comments down below. And until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later.